Dream, George Knapp Found, Kami Carson, and more have all been accused as predators. I'm gonna be very vulnerable, open, and honest. I go into my past, I go into controversies, and I also debunk very serious lies about me. So Casey Bugs recently did a stream and accused me of something very serious. I made a response and then she made a follow-up response. This is my response to her follow-up. Hey guys, it's been a while. This isn't going to be your average YouTuber apology video, and I'm not going to make it long and drawn out. I've learned a lot this past year. I'm not seeking forgiveness, nor am I looking to make excuses. It's a weird paradox which basically begins in becoming a Minecraft YouTuber. Hey, what's up guys? I thought I'd go ahead and give you a tour of my Minecraft house. I just recently finished it, um, and I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys what it's all about. So we get started once I get up here to the surface. I was just finished mining a little bit. Um, Got a lot of dirt that I can have. Um, so this is the entrance to my house. And um, uh, got a nice door here. Grow a big audience. All right, guys. So I gained over 500,000 subscribers in the last two weeks, which is just insane. I don't have any words. I'm sorry for not making special videos for every milestone like I used to. They kind of just blew by. And welcome to all my new subscribers. You definitely won't regret it. I thought I'd make a special video giving back to people who have helped me along the way. Everybody loves you. It's so hard to move. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop. I, I can't. And then you see your career falling apart in front of you. The most subscribed Minecraft YouTuber ever dream has been caught up in a new controversy and one that is not like any before. Forget cheating in a Minecraft speedrun, throw that out the window. This controversy is something that can permanently end his career once and for all. So let's take a look together at what has gone down the past couple days. On October 3rd, Twitter user OxyClean would make a thread about her personal experience with Dream after he face revealed the previous day. And then eventually it repeats on another YouTuber. This is an example of the YouTuber Minecraft effect, which you can see the amount of people it has affected and the people it might affect in the near distant future. So we are going to begin with Dream all the way to here here and explaining to you the youtuber minecraft effect hi i'm hugo and walker and i upload videos just like this one every seven days so if you like what i upload consider subscribing to reach our goal of 20,000. it would be greatly appreciated now dreams minecraft effect begins just in his first video i've never actually had my house blown up yet but i have seen them around what the hell and the pig just blew up my house that is nice well, um, uh, we can, uh, it's, my bed's not set, if my bed was set, now I don't even know where my house is, I lost my house, didn't I? I don't know where my house is. Um, we'll be right back, I'm gonna find my house and, um, get the bed, make sure we, make sure we get that bed going, because if we can get the bed going, then, um, then if we die like that to uh, some creepers or pigs or whatever, then we can, uh, Get back, like instantly. He was making a lot of videos, gaining a lot of views, and many people loved him with comments such as, Dream, please bring back this series, we all love this, and this is just amazing. Now that you are taking a break from manhunts, I hope you bring this series back. This series thing is very cool, please keep continuing this series. Only Dream can make something so simple, entertaining. Everybody showed support to him, because everybody liked him. But as mentioned, this effect begins growing your audience, he has already clearly done that, everybody loved him based on those comments, and then you see your career falling apart which he semi saw during the dream cheating allegations dream did admit that the drop rates of important items had been artificially increased but now claims that it was an accident he simply didn't know that his game was modified over the last few months there have been some serious allegations against the popular youtuber dream claiming that he tampered with random loot drops in his minecraft speedruns so the Minecraft speedrun moderation team, in a combined effort with mathematical experts in our community, have launched an investigation, which is culminating in the release of this video and a statistical analysis paper that thoroughly examines the case and accounts for bias. But he was also accused of cheating by multiple people, he got doxxed after doing a weird neck reveal, and he hired a Harvard-trained astrophysicist to write his defense paper against those cheating allegations, and apparently, it's full of holes. And of course, the main part where these allegations surfaced. Dream has had some pretty sussy allegations against him for a while now, and when 
I had originally made my video months ago on this ordeal. It had gotten flagged and around that time in my life, I was going through it. So it kind of slipped my mind. He put this out there. He put the entire story out there. Yeah, no, eh, there's rumors, there's this, there's that, there's the, the, the girl obviously coming out with her part. But make no mistake, he gave every excruciatingly painful, useless detail. From being at the top of his game over two years ago to now averaging less than 10% of his old view count and having new grooming allegations thrown at him every other day, which is now destroying his reputation further and further. This impacted his reputation significantly as he would go on to lose subscribers, make a video titled The Truth. If you've been on the internet recently, you've probably heard or seen some pretty crazy stuff about me. Whether it's the voice actor of Gumball attacking me or accusations against me regarding grooming, you've probably heard a lot of pretty crazy stuff. I thought it's extremely important for me to make this video and provide as much information as I can. And I just want to right off the bat state as clearly as I can that these allegations are not true. I plan on going to extreme detail to prove that in this video. And to all the people that are spreading lies, fabricating stories, and making false accusations for fun or because they think it's funny. But I don't care. I accept that I'm a horrible person. This is not funny. This is not a joke. This is people's lives ranging from my own, my family, my employees, to actual victims that stories won't be heard or believed in the future. And half people still not believe him. And if you look at his channel now, he hasn't uploaded and has overall lost the motivation mainly in part to his controversies he has been in with george not found however it's a little different but of course he started growing a big audience collaborating at the time with dream well, dream beats me in every game on <laughs> hypixel <laughs> wait just jump up <laughs> look at this <laughs> all right so because we've got dream the big youtuber ring dream can make his own games and host them so it's just me against dream so we're gonna have the biggest hypixel yes. battle of all time me versus dream so it's just, we just do like points, right? And then if, if the points add up, then you yeah. win. And okay. whoever has the most points at the end wins the entire thing and is crowned uh, YouTube champion. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. I'm gonna be YouTube champion, that's great. Making videos such as Dream vs. George, Minecraft Hunter vs. Minecraft Speedrunner, and Minecraft But I Have to Carry My Friend. Everybody loved the guy, especially along with Dream. However, George would then get accused of basically doing non-consensual things with other people, which he tried addressing in his other channel, making two videos addressing a very serious allegation. All right, hey guys, I wanna start off this stream by saying that this stream is completely demonetized. I have turned off ads. I've turned off donations. However, I cannot turn off subs, but uh, just don't sub. But regardless, any sub money that is generated during the stream, I will donate to charity. In the stream, I'm going to be talking about some very serious topics, including assault, abuse, and things of sexual. Yeah. So if any of these are triggering topics for you, Please be aware of that and be cautious. And my response. For those of you who don't know, Katie Boggs recently did a stream and accused me of something very serious. I made a response and then she made a follow-up response. This is my response to her follow-up. Throughout this video, I'm gonna be showing clips from some other people just for context. And just to make it clear, I don't want any hate to be sent to anyone, including these people. Here are the two tweets that I posted about the situation. These are now deleted as I only made them to let people know that I had intentions to make a response. It was revealed that the person making these allegations was being a little bit too dramatic on what happened, but something to note when being in allegations that later proved to be false is that these things are forever pinned to you and your audience will never see you the same way again, kinda to what happened with Dream. Tommy Carson would make his channel in 2011 and he would upload videos like Crazy Torch, 2K Subspecial, and AOS Ice Bucket Challenge. I'm gonna go get what? See you in a second. Oh, my hair's kinda weird. Okay, so I'll see you in a second, guys. Garvey. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh, that's cold. Ah, ah. He sounds like he is gonna teach me how to install mods in Minecraft and Carson did nothing wrong, which refers to an allegation he was a part in, which someone had alleged that they shared private messages of sex nature, which prompted Carson to make this video titled Moving Forward. Hey guys, it's been a while. 
This isn't gonna be your average YouTuber apology video, and I'm not gonna make it long and drawn out. I've learned a lot this past year. I'm not seeking forgiveness, nor am I looking to make excuses. I'm sure some of you are expecting some long drawn out video explaining my truth of the situation, uh, but I have no intentions of doing that. I'd much rather just tell you what I can do in the future. For the next year, I plan to donate 100% of my profits to charity, with a different charity being the focus each month. Now, before you start thinking of this as an excuse to sweep things under the rug, that's not what this is. I'm doing this because I want to turn a negative situation with a lot of eyes on it uh, into something positive that can help a lot of people. He refused to talk about the situation in which he was a part in, which was very odd considering how the stuff he was being accused of was very serious. Later on, he would make a video titled One Year Later, which he tried to make it up by just donating to charity, which might seem good, but he never really talked about the situation with some people noticing like, bro wants us to forget about him talking to underage girls. Brother, this guy stinks! Just cause he raised a lot of money for charities for things that have no association with what he did like two years ago doesn't mean he didn't do it. You are dumb, he's still boring AF cause all of his cool friends left him. Still a creep and still ape. In spite of this, he's still very active in his channel, in his Twitter, and his Twitch. Regardless, he is always going to be known as that one who talked to a 17 year old. Not to mention his reputation is already ruined. These are just examples of many other people in this YouTuber Minecraft effect, so I recommend you watch this video on the satisfying downfall of Dream.